All right, let's go to the editorial now. Um, the Nation, rent warning. 15-year jail threat on landlords for renting homes for Yahoo Boys may end up an EFCC grandstanding. Nigerian Tribune, still on voter registration. The leadership has this. Terrorist attacks on Buhari's convoy, Kuji facility. Um, still on leadership, they have another editorial. Rising cases of COVID-19. And this day has the essence of Ideo Kabir. Yes. All of the important editorials. <laughs> I, I like the last editorial. The last one is by what newspaper now? This day. Yes, talking mm-hmm. about the the Kuji attacks and that audacious attack on the presidential. Okay, that's on leadership. Okay, that's leadership. Yeah, I I think that opened our eyes again to uh the the security crisis this country is going through. You mm-hmm. know, and it's been like this since 2015, really, even before 2015. Mm-hmm. You know, but it's just getting worse. Yes. You know, we have managed to cool things down in the northeast, but it's now bigger in the northwest, and it's now coming very close to the center of the country in Abuja. I mean, Niger State is as bad as Zamfara, if you ask me. Mm. You know, Niger State, that attack on Shiroro is. I don't think we have had the worst attack like that since since Boko Haram mm. began to attack army, army assets and army uh, facility, army bases in Boruno. This was one of the worst, and then less than a week after that. They go to a prison not far from the forward operating base of an army special gas battalion and effect the prison break. I mean, it's impunity. It's a culture of impunity. And someone said yesterday, it's the consequences of lack of consequences. Mm. Because there are no consequences. There were no consequences for number one. There's no consequences for any of them. And what we're seeing now is the consequences of all of that lack of consequences. It runs. Did you enjoy this video? Hit the subscribe button for more, leave a comment and like. Thank you.